All right, time to put the first coat on of the color. So this is gonna be a nice black. So I'm gonna start just in the corners. Uh, a key would be not having too much paint on your brush for this application. Just really wanting to get all the brush work done first. Before I start doing the rolling. Now this coat isn't going to look the prettiest, but that's okay. Because uh, you're going to put on probably, with this black, I'll, I think probably three coats will be what is needed. Sometimes colors like blacks or reds, they they require a little bit more than a light neutral color. It's because of the amount of tint that's added. So this is a furniture and cabinet paint. Um, furniture and cabinet paint is a bit different base. Um, it typically doesn't set up as good as other paints. So you don't want to put it on heavy and uh, that will be another reason for possible extra coats. It's just simply I, I'm not putting it on real heavy. Especially being black, it's, it's a color that will take a little bit longer to set up. And you definitely don't want runs. Because runs will just ruin it. I may even just throw a fan on this actually. Now that I'm starting, I'm thinking maybe a fan might not be a bad idea. I really don't like when paint runs, it just, nah, it just ruins things. So it's always best to uh, put it on thinner and more coats of paint as opposed to uh, having a run. So I'm just gonna go grab a fan actually because I'm gonna have one on this for a few hours anyway. So I had done these back legs So while I'm doing that, I'm just keeping an eye on some of this other stuff. If it's, uh, if I see any running. So if you're using furniture and cabinet paint and you're new to it, um, but you've painted before with other wall paint or trim paint, uh, I would say just really put it on light. You don't want to, uh, deal with runs and if you're if you're not familiar with this paint then um, just plan on doing extra coats definitely put it on thinner than you you do if you've painted a wall for example or even door and trim paint that uh, that sets up a little bit slower than your average wall paint but it's definitely a lot quicker than this stuff Whoops. So sometimes you just gotta go back around and just make sure you're not getting any runs. Now while this is still wet, I'm going to be starting to roll it. I have a bit of time yet. 
because uh, like I say, it doesn't set up very, very fast. So I'm going to just keep doing some brush work. Then I'll go and grab the fan. Oh yeah, a little run there. Uh, it's usually where things uh, meet up with uh, miters or cuts. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to leave these little brass feet alone. I think they kind of add to the uh, aesthetic of this uh, piece. So I'm going to go grab that. Quick, a fan. So I got my old fan here and I'll just turn that on once I'm ready for it. So, okay. Now, um, I'm going to just roll a bit onto this board here. Just want to get a bit of that off. I'm going to start on the top. It's a good spot to start. So same with the brushwork. You don't want to put this on too heavy. You want to do uh, thin coats. I'm planning on three for this piece. Um, I'll be happy if it's three. Sometimes I've had to put even more, even four coats. Um, I think four is probably the maximum. <laughs> I think four is probably the maximum that I've ever done. It's just a little nightstand, but I think it's gonna look all right. Now when it gets really low, then I'm going to start to do some of the uh, some of the spots um, that are a bit smaller that would be more prone to to runs if you put it on too heavy. Because even though I'm going to put a fan on, that doesn't really change the fact that you need to be very very cautious with how much of this furniture paint that you put on. I mean, I know I'm repeating myself, but I think that would be the most crucial information that someone would need when using this. Oh yeah, there was a run in there. I don't know if you saw it, but that, uh... but see, I'm rolling. So a nice thing with, with uh, this phase, is to do your rolling after, do your brushwork first, because then you'll catch a lot of the runs, if there is any. Some of that stuff, and I'm just gonna do along here as well. I'm gonna do the drawer front last. I think I'll have enough to squeeze out for that. So I would not put it on any thicker than this. There's no harm in just going over the piece a couple times, to be honest, just to make sure that everything is nice and thin.
for your first coat. If you see the primer underneath, that is totally fine. That is not a big deal at all. You just want to make sure that everything is nice, smoothed out. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put the fan on it. But first, I'm just going to get this, uh, the drawer. So this is going to be, this is going to be good. Just gonna be a good amount for the first coat. Getting in all the little spots. Now I'm gonna let that. Oops. Gonna let that have a chance to see how it sets up. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just gonna go around. So what I'm going to do is get this. There, good. Do a once over, have a have a look. Make sure everything's looking all right. You know what? I think that's good. I'm going to uh, wrap this roller up in a bag so I can reuse it. I didn't put too much paint in this tray. I'm gonna make sure I get the fan going. Perfect. Put this lid back on. So yeah, the important part would be to get the fan on. Right now. I'm just going to have that fan blowing. Good. Just have some air circulating. Everything looks pretty good though. I don't think we're going to have any runs. Perfect.